So, this is the new Infrared Tube TS60 Thermal Rifle Scope. So we're going to go into a few of the features, but first we're going to take a look at the external packaging and the external design of the scope itself. Nice branding on the box itself there. Open that up. There's a bit of info from Infrared there, thanking you for buying the product. Inside the top packaging box, you have a dual bay charger, strap for your carry case, USB connector, and um, a small power plug for connecting them devices. So that would be used for charging the device itself or downloading video images from the device. So this is the carry case. So we'll pull this out. I've already had a look at this unit, so the case is open. Bear with me. Just slot that out. Push that back out the way and take a look at the scope itself. So within there, you get some heat patches for zeroing, instructional manual, cleaning cloth. Pull this out and we'll take a look at what's on the scope itself which is what everyone wants to see so basically you can see looking at it it's got a new style uh, throw lever focus so that allows you to just focus precisely on the image flick it out the way if you don't need to don't need it protruding be, to be fair you don't really need that because it's really slick to start with but it just gives you that little bit more precision front lens cap that just springs out the way spring loaded further back you've got your classic sort of turret style from the traditional tube design so within this you have a 18650 battery so you get two batteries one's already in the unit in the side and then you have your lithium battery that's already built into the scope to give you a long run time obviously when you start increasing sensor sizes battery life will reduce compared to lower resolution sensors like this is a full hd if you had like a 320 resolution obviously it's not going to be as much uh, power demanding as a higher resolution sensor at the side you have a usb-c connector with a port for charging the unit and downloading data i won't take that off as i won't take that battery connector off as well which has got the 18650 in the cap top you've got your encoder wheel so that it's not too clicky like the previous generations where it's pretty silent they've got rid of that annoying really loud click but it's you can feel it's indent in each increment which is better so your full controls are all mainly from this button on the top back you've got your buttons at the rear brightness image capture video recording change your color palettes there and your power button obviously depending on what you've got this scope set to you'll have a rangefinder function within that menu uh, capability and button functionality at the back of the scope as well back you've got your diopter adjustment and a big thing you might notice is the scope comes pre-fitted with a single piece weave mount which is really well made mount to be fair so it just clips on and off like that so you can just pop that on your scope clip it on and it's locked in place you can adjust the width with these bolts at the side that's a nice little touch you don't have to go out and fit it it's on pop it straight on your gun zero the rifle and you're away to go so that's basically it looking at the externals and some of the quick obvious things you see from the scope so we'll keep it pretty short and to the point and we'll pull out the main features as this is just an unboxing teaser video of the tube ts60 so ts60 scope wow honestly this is scope image wise is for a traditional tube all the models out there from what i've seen the image is really really good uh surprisingly good to be fair but we'll we'll go into what makes it good and specification wise why it is so this has got infrared's full hd resolution sensor so it's a 1280 by 1024 pixel and it's got an 18 mk net d sensitivity so infrared make these sensors themselves it's 12 micron pixel pitch so most of the industry is a 12 micron now it's at 18 mk which is really low for a 12 micron i mean pff, i don't know what the limits are is in sensitivity in all honesty there's a lot of software algorithms and things going into these scopes but yeah there's a quite a variation in sensitivity but the main point for me with this is the resolution so 1280 it provides stunning detail so that sensor combined with the 
new 60 mil lens i don't know if you can probably tell looking at that scope it's a 60 mil most standard traditional tube style a 50 mil so this has got a 60 millimeter focal length lens with uh, an f1 aperture so that combines really nicely with the the full hd sensor and them combined provide you with a 3100 meter detection range most tube styles are borderline around two, three, two, six, depending on manufacturer detection range. This obviously pushes that a little bit further with the 60 millimeter lens. Another really nice feature of this scope is the eye display. Now, it's 2560 pixel resolution, which is really high resolution, so crisp the image and the icons on it. It is the best in class eye display bar none that along with the hd sensor again complements the image and just gives you that that's just when you look through it even when you zoom in it's a two times base mag but when you zoom up to three to four the image doesn't really lose any detail whatsoever and you keep going and it goes from two base mag right up to 16 times base mag but that eye display 2560 resolution pixels is the best in class and it's a circular design eye display as well you do get an LRF with the scope. It's not here. It's These are on route, the LRF modules, but it does come with that. Uh, that just clips on and off. You set that up yourself, and it does tie in with the ballistic calculation function, which is in the scope itself in the software settings. So most people want a ballistic calculator these days. That ties in and allows you to have that function. Um, so with the scope itself, when you buy it, you get the scope, the spokes adjustment ring, the single piece mount, and you get the LRF module as well. So that all comes in together. So yeah, that's a quick teaser. Uh, rough and ready. Just look of the infrared tube tier 60 scope. What an image. In initial impressions, probably the best image I've seen from any tube thermal scope to this date. The first batch of these we got in have already sold out straight away. We do have more coming en route. So anyone looking for a full HD thermal scope, I would give these a good look at that seriously. That is the infrared tube TS60 thermal rifle scope thanks for watching